On 26th October, we venerate St. Cuthbert, who was a medieval Anglo-Saxon Archbishop of Canterbury in England. Prior to his elevation to Canterbury, he was abbot of a monastic house and perhaps may have been Bishop of Hereford also. While Archbishop, he held church councils and built a new church in Canterbury. Cuthbert was the 11th Archbishop of Canterbury from 740 to 760. His background is obscure, though historians credit him with noble origins. Cuthbert may have become Abbot of Lyminge in Kent. He may have been Bishop of Hereford. He probably owed his selection for Canterbury to Ethelbold, King of Mercia, from 716 to 757, and the most powerful figure in England. Cuthbert was the recipient of a long letter from St. Boniface, who complained about the lax morals of the clergy in the British Isles and too much drinking of alcohol by the Anglo-Saxon bishops. Among the matters that earned his censure were the prevalence of drunkenness, foolish superstitions in dress, the immoral behaviour of English women on pilgrimage to Rome, and the fact that monasteries were often under the control of their lay founders. Even King Ethelbold did not escape criticism. Since Boniface had left England thirty years before in order to undertake his mission in Germany, he may well have received this information from Cuthbert, with whom he was in correspondence. At all events, in 747, Cuthbert held a synod at which new rules were set forth concerning the monastic life and the duties of bishops and priests. Every priest was to learn and explain to the people in their own tongue the creed, the Lord's Prayer and the offices of the Mass and Baptism. In addition, the Church in England was required to observe the festivals and fasts as well as the canonical hours and litanies of the Roman Church. The feasts of St. Gregory the Great and St. Augustine were also instituted. Furthermore, to set an example in the matter of abandoning lay control of the monasteries, King Ethelbold gave the minister of Cookham to Christ Church in Canterbury. In Canterbury, Cuthbert built a new church dedicated to St. John the Baptist immediately to the east of the cathedral. This was intended as a mortuary chapel for the archbishops of Canterbury, who had previously been buried at the monastery of St. Augustine, outside the city walls. Cuthbert was wise, therefore, to leave orders that, when he died, no bell should toll for him until three days had passed. Thus, by the time that the news of his death reached St. Augustine's, he had already been buried. Nevertheless, his plans were ultimately foiled when the church of St. John the Baptist burned down in 1067. Cuthbert died on 26 October 760 and was later considered a saint with the feast day of 26 October. He was buried in his church of St. John and was the first Archbishop of Canterbury that was not buried in St. Augustine's Abbey. His letters to the Anglo-Saxon missionaries on the European continent show him to have been highly educated and a considerable Latinist. Placing all our petitions before St. Cuthbert today, let us pray. O Lord, make us a channel of your blessing, that we, like St. Cuthbert, might play our part in bringing your word to the world and your healing to those in need. We ask this in the name of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.